Welcome to the shack. I'm Ray. A while back I did a video on some of the uh, tools that I had, specifically woodpecker. And I stated I really like woodpecker. They are made in Ohio, USA. They are all CNC machined within 0.0011 thousandths of an inch. You can't buy that at the big box store. Yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, but you can't put a price on quality. During that video, I had stated that I had two other items on order. One was due to ship this month, December 2016. The other item is due to ship February 2017. Well, I just received uh, a few days ago the item for December. So I thought I would let you come check it out real quick and just show you what I mean by the quality versus $10, $15 item, the quality of the CNC machined product. This is absolutely nice. This is the one time tool bevel gauge. This is the one I had. This I think I paid 10, 15 bucks for it, if that. This is the woodpecker. One time tool, seven inch bevel gauge. Now this, you can see your tension was on the top. And I'm telling you right now, there have been times when I had done that Put up against the wall it hit right here so i wasn't getting a real proper reading this sticks out a little bit farther than the blade this has the tensioner on the back that is a better placement especially if you're in tight space not that you need some serious leverage but you can get this in a corner and because of, instead of doing this with your fingers real hard you can just Get this one on one side or the other, and you have very good leverage if you need to get it that tight, but I would never get that tight. You just want to snug it. Loosen it. This thing glides. You feel the tension. It's not loose, but it's like, it's almost like you have a precision bearing in there. It's a, unbelievable, the quality of this. Thickness of the blade. This is CNC stainless steel, cut out, perfect almost. I'd say 99.999% perfection. All the internal parts, all this is stainless. This is milled aluminum. And you see right there, it says woodpecker. And it has, uh, made in the USA, this is July 2016. Last time this came out was in 2014, and I've been waiting and waiting, and I finally got it. This is a one-time tool. If you are interested in any of this stuff, there will be a link below. Check out the Woodpecker website. You could go to the one-time tools. Otherwise, the stuff that I had in my other video, uh, except for the one tool, was a one-time tool. The other items you can buy, but I always wait for them to come on sale or when they have uh, refurbished items that usually will maybe have a scratch or something wrong with it. Maybe the finish didn't come out perfect. I don't care. 15 bucks off, 20 bucks off. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that versus regular price. I always look for the sale. Always get the best price you can. And something I'm going to use in the shop is going to get maybe glue and stuff on it. I don't care about the finish, but I want the quality that woodpecker puts puts out so that is the one-time tool this is the bvlg-7-16 basically bevel gauge seven inch and it was produced 2016. now you look at that look at that quality and when I, I actually weighed these just out of curiosity see what the weight is on this i'm just going to add a comparison now that's a cheap one, plastic. You know, you got your average $10, $15 bubble gauge. 4.1 ounces. Now the quality woodpecker. Wow. 
10 ounces, 6 ounces more. It's all aluminum body, stainless steel, and a nice mechanical tightener versus this one you just do with your finger. I mean, placement is better. This is well thought out. This is a truly a piece of craftsmanship. I cannot say that enough. And just out of curiosity, this thing here, that big solid piece, is at a pound 2.4 ounces. This little cheap thing, plastic, was 4.1 ounces. This was 10.1 ounces, six ounces more. And it's got, it's not overly heavy. It's got a, a true craftsmanship feel to it. There's nothing more you can say. This is a quality product, period, bar none. With this, because using something like this, if I'm getting the corner of a of the wall and I want to make sure that the angle is correct, I would set this and hopefully not hit something. Go to my miter saw, try to get the thing set where the blade, and hopefully I don't move it with the blade trying to set it. Then I'm like, oh damn, I gotta go back and reset it. I also got the angle reference. This is a 16 inch, quarter inch solid aluminum plate that is etched, laser etched with all the degrees. Solid, hold, the solid lines are whole degrees, the dotted lines are quarter degree, and the dashes are half degrees. So again, if that was my angle on the corner or the edge, I could take it, go up and down, find out where that was, would be this way. Get that set where I know, and I could go to my miter saw, and I could set it without even having to carry this. I could just reference it, it's like, okay, it's, I am right at, well, let's just say this is, sets right at one and a half degree. Now I can go in there, I can set it at one and tap it and get between one and two, cut it, and I got a perfect cut. These combined are essential for my shop. I can get any degree and I can check any degree with this reference so I know exactly what I'm cutting. So that's my quick update review of my exceptionally precise <laughs> bevel gauge, reference gauge by Woodpecker versus this cheap thing in the trash it goes this is what I'm using for now on little tip sheet maintenance keeping care and adjusting and all that stuff for it that is well worth the price I am extremely happy with it just a quick review overview of my Woodpecker's bevel gauge and the reference plate that I just received a couple days ago finally shipped and I am excited and happy and very pleased. Check it here. I will try to put a link here for my video that I did on the other items that I have. Mobile devices, tablets, stuff like that you will not see so look in the description below. I will have a link there plus a link to Woodpecker website itself. Check them out. Again, this is a one-time tool. It probably won't come into production for a couple of years. If there's something in the one-time tool list you like, put it on your wish list. If it comes out, if they get ready for a, a production run, if you want to order it, they'll notify you. That's how I get some of the stuff. I got my wish list and I keep an eye on the items that they normally have, looking for the sale, or like I said, refurbished seconds or whatever reason why they came back. That's it, quick and simple and easy. I got one more of these going to show up February, well not this, but another item in 2017, February. Stay tuned for that. As, uh, as always, subscribe, hit that like button. Be blessed, get out there, take back your shack. Follow me as I take mine back. Just get out there, build it for a friend. Always build it for family, but most importantly, build it for your sanity. Gotta have time for ourselves. Thanks again. I'm gonna go play this. See you next video. Love that new tool smell. They make a cologne out of that, I'd wear it. 
smells metally. 